Hello and welcome to the tutorial video of Easy Sand Tricks. In this video, we will look at the most important and useful feature of Easy Sand Tricks, which we have named as Yield Management. Let's log into Easy Reservation Control Panel. Yield Management helps you to maximize the revenue per available room by selling rooms at the right price and at the right time. Let's see how Yield Management works in the context of Easy Sand Tricks. To set up Yield Management, go to Marketing tab and click on Yield tab. To manage yield, it's necessary to create yield slabs. This can be achieved from the tab Occupancy Slab. Occupancy Slab serves the purpose to bifurcate the occupancy in different slabs on the basis of which the rates will be decided. Number of slabs can vary from property to property. For the purpose of this demo, we will make 4 slabs and they are 0 to 25%, 26 to 50%, 51 to 75% and 76 to 100%. Once the occupancy slabs are created, then they need to be mapped with the rate plans. For that, we will go to slab mapping. Slab mapping will show you the disabled and enabled rate plans on which the yield management is done. Once the source is selected for which the yield management is to be done, you can then enable yield management on particular rate plans. Yield management can also be enabled on different seasons. For that, we go to Season. Special seasons can be created for the yield management. For the purpose of this video, we have already created one season. Now to manage the yield, we will use the Manage Yield option. On the basis of the occupancy slab created, you can define the rates for the base adult and child or extra adult and child. Let's go through each option. First option here is Select Source. Here, select the source as Channel to update the rates on the basis of yield. After that, select Rate Plan for which the yield rates needs to be applied. Occupancy Slab Option rates will be defined on the basis of slabs created. The From and To column will help you define the starting and the end point of the slab in percentage. The Base column here you can modify the formula for setting appropriate base rates for adult and child. Extra Adult column allows you to define rates for extra adults. Similarly, for extra child, it allows you to define rates for extra child. The Effect column. Here, you will be able to predefine the conditions by which the system will automatically add or multiply the base rates. The Factor column will be the number by which the addition or subtraction will take place on the base rate. For example, if the base rate is 1000, the effect is add and the factor is 100, then in this case the rates on the channel will appear as 1100. Likewise, if you want to decrease the rates on the basis of occupancy, you can predefine the percentage value by which the system will automatically deduct the base rate. The option which says I want to update, this helps you to update the yield for the specific date range or for a specific season. You can also do it for specific days by using the apply days option. On the basis of the set yield, you will get the yield report from the yield report option. Inside the yield report option, there are two different tabs. The first one is yield definition. This will show the yield rate set for different rate plans. The second tab, which is for yield projection, will show you the occupancy of the rate types in percentage. And the rates are derived as per the formula set in the occupancy slab. We hope that this tutorial video provided the information that you were looking for. You can also check other videos on our YouTube channel and for more information you can also visit www.easycentrics.com.